Okay, so welcome back to our uh, exposed development tutorial. So, yep, I think this should work out. So, pretty much in this tutorial, we're, we're going to be going all over the first part of the development tutorial. Uh, I'm going to try and do it as much as I can from my memory, but actually, this is my first exposed module I've made in a while. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier. I apologize guys, these videos are going to be kind of all over the place. I just want people to hopefully find it, you know, those those people who would like to watch videos on how to do exposed stuff because that's sometimes better than reading it. And even if you do read it, you can read all this stuff like in an hour and then it doesn't go over a lot of stuff. So I just want to make a video on how to do it. So it's going to be kind of all over the place, but anyway. So what you're going to need to do is create a new Android application project. Application name, I'm going to call this, I don't know what you call it, Upside Wi-Fi. Uh, and then uh, I'll just call it rybread 761upside Wi-Fi. Do a package. Again, if you don't know what package names are, just look at some basic Java stuff first. I honestly hate when people are like, hey, you know, just just do this first. Do this, that, 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 that first. And then uh, come back to this tutorial. But um, I'm hoping you do at least know some basic Java if you're here. Um, I'm not going to try and explain it to you. There's lots of good resources on the net. So minimum required SDK. I'm actually going to bump this up to 4.03. And the reason for that is because that's the minimum Expose works on. I know there's a port for 2.3. Uh, Expose doesn't officially support it. I don't officially support it is my way of looking at it. Uh, a good amount of the Expose modules I want to make are only compatible with this version of Android anyway. I wasn't even on Android back uh, when the, when it was on those old versions. So my the first version of Android I ever used was 4.1. So, you know whatever, uh, if, I, don't, I don't even know if it will work on this, but just put it at that for now. Target SDK, we obviously want to target KitKat, and theme, that actually doesn't matter because this module is not going to have any settings. Even if you are going to create settings or plan to later, I would recommend not doing an, an activity, so just tick off create activity. Now, you can put on create custom launcher icon, I like doing this, so I can just go ahead and say like clip art, choose, we can find the Wi-Fi thing, and then uh, unfortunately it doesn't have an option for making it uh, flipped around. Should be kind of cool, but um, anyway, that's what we that's what we do. Okay, finish. So just like that, it's going to create this uh, additional project over here. I now have a lot of projects. Uh, it's not actually that much, but I do some libgdx, which creates like five projects per project. So, you know, I'm a hobbyist developer, and I just mess around. So, I end up with a lot of projects, a lot of failed projects, unfortunately. But uh, you learn from your mistakes, right? 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 So anyway, basically, what we need to do is we need to follow the first bit of this tutorial. So, how exposed works? I highly recommend you read this part. It's it just explains it so well to you um, how exposed work. Well, it's actually been a while since I read it, but um, it does do a pretty good job of explaining to you what it is that exposed actually does, and will probably make life a lot easier. It's it's not a requirement to read it, but I would highly recommend it. So anyway, creating the project, we've already done that. So making the thing an exposed module. So basically what you need to do is copy all of this metadata here from this and pop it into your I think that goes in the application. Yep. So all you're gonna do is paste that in there. Now what you're gonna need to change here is just this little part. Well you don't need to change it but you're gonna want to change it. So this is the description. This is this is which will show up in the exposed installer app uh, by your module. So if you go to the exposed installer, and I'm just gonna do it right now so I can talk it to you. So when you go there and you go to modules, when you click that, there's the name of everything, and then there's 
the uh, icon, and then there's the description. And this is the description that it will show, okay? So, uh, you can fill this in later if you just want to get it quickly going, or you can fill it in now. Uh, sometimes I fill this in with like an attempt to because I'm not fully confident my module will even work. But, um, so yeah, if you just want to, if you're just experimenting and you just want to get it going as quick as possible, then you can just skip this for now, but I'm pretty confident this will work. So, turn the Wi-Fi icon in the status bar upside down. There we go. So, I'm basically going to do that. The next thing we need to do is you need to go download the exposed API jar and this is my videos. I have it in my development directory actually. So so you're not supposed to put it in this libs one here. You're supposed to put it in a new folder that you create called lib. And there's a reason for that, which is stated on the thing. If you didn't just read it while I was highlighting it and reading it myself, then you can go read it yourself on the development thing if you care about it. Otherwise, if you don't really care about the particular reason, um, then just go ahead and know that this is just another part of the process. So go ahead and just drag this here. And we'll copy files. You're good to go. Uh, Except for that, we have to add it to the build path. I think. So, right click, build path, add to build path. Again, if you're in Android Studio, I'm not supporting that in this tutorial just because I've, I, I haven't had it work for me before. But if it does work for you, that's great. Um, and I know some of the steps are slightly different, so. With that said, we should now be able to create our class. So all we have to do is go into source, no, class, and package default. Why package default? Okay. I'm not sure why it's not working. Okay. Let me try this out. Um, so I will call this the name of our thing, which is upside Wi-Fi finish. Okay, now let's put it to the default package. So refactor. No. Okay. Uh, new package. I read some sort of upside Wi Fi, that's what this is, right? Yeah. Okay. So now if I move this into there, and there we go. So boom. So now what we need to do is we need to go down here, and what I'm going to do is I like to do this just to confirm that we have basically what we need. So all this is saying is first of all, we're going to implement. I so interface exposed hook init zygote or hook zygote init. Basically, what this allows us to do, and it's going to tell us you have to have the implemented methods. So do that, as we always have to do when we implement something, or, or not always when we implement something, but um, well, actually, if it has, I don't know, it's a Java thing. I can't explain it, but. Anyway, so what we have to do is basically this is init zygote. So what what this basically ha this basically happens when the device like boots up, okay? Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the handle load package, which would make a hell of a lot more sense. So we could do it from init zygote. Uh, all, all I'm doing this for is just to say, like, hey, this works. I've changed my mind again. 
since we won't actually need that later, uh, what I'm going to do is hook init package resources. So this happens when a package basically initializes its resources. Uh, and then all I'm going to say is, now I've got these extra imports, I'm a mess. So all I'm going to do here is expose bridge dot log. This will log to expose log, and I believe it also logs to log cap. And all we're going to do is log actually res param dot package name. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to log all the package names of everything. So now what I have to do is I have to go into assets, I have to go into file, and I'm going to call this one exposed init. And what I do in here is I say the class that needs to be loaded, like basically that has my exposed stuff on my main class. Again, I'm having a particularly bad day with typing today. So, please, just, yeah. Anyway, so at this point, what we should be able to do is run it. Now, for whatever reason, ever since I reinstalled Windows on this laptop, it doesn't really like to interface with my tablet over the cable. But I can get it to go ahead and actually I believe they fixed it and they put it back in the program files. Yeah. Is this the one that I want to use? I think it is. I can actually have it set. So um, under here, I'm just going to go to platform tools. Here's a cool hint. If you hold shift and then you open command window here. So from here, all I have to do is adb connect And for all of you that think you're so smart right now because you're getting my IP, actually this is your IP too, so have fun. Maybe he's not running. Okay, so it's connected. So what we should now be able to do is say right click run as Android application. And what we should have happen is we should have a little thing pop up that's like where do you want to do this? Oh, it's been installed on device, and it has in fact. So, all I'm going to do is activate reboot. So I've activated and rebooted it. I'm going to go to reboot. And I will have a way of showing you my device after, like I'm going to bring out my camera. But for this one, you guys are just going to have to trust me a bit. I'll take a picture of my, with my phone and I'll put it on screen. So let me just grab my phone real quick. Okay, so you guys will be able to get a super high quality, I'm sure, Galaxy S for photo up on your screen, uh, assuming I'm not lazy and I actually do decide to edit this one. Otherwise, I will link it in the description if you want. Okay, and so I think it's exciting. It's I'll just show you that you can see in the development log, you know, what our thing is doing. So assuming this works, the reason, like I, I think I said before, that I'm doing this is just to basically prove that we have a, an exposed module that's running as it should and that we're able to hook, uh, you know, stuff. So, 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to go logs, and i got a bunch of package names. Literally, like, a gazillion package names. So I highly don't re recommend you leave this code in your thing, because whoever you, whoever downloads this module after, uh, it just makes the log a mess. And logs are really useful for developers when people tell me I'm having a problem. I'll say, oh, well, send me your exposed log, and I want to see if there was an exception or something. And helps us a lot. So, right. so I'll link that in the description most likely, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching part three. I hope it wasn't too boring, and we'll see you in the next.